What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, according to an FBI investigation, Alec Baldwin, the actor, Alec Baldwin lied when he said that he did not pull the trigger on the gun that ultimately took the life of Halia Hutchins, who was the director of photography, if my memory serves me correctly, on the film Rust that he was working on at that time. Um, Baldwin also severely wounded the director of the film, whose name I can't recall at this time. As you may know, if you've been following this, Alec Baldwin has maintained that he never pulled a trigger. He did his directed. Uh, he aimed the weapon, um, but he did not pull the trigger. He said he fiddled with the hammer. And somehow that uh, created the reaction within the gun that discharged the bullet, which caused the uh, tragic uh, killing of Halia, Halia excuse me, Hutchins. And the FBI says no. The FBI has concluded that Alec Baldwin must have fired the gun normally on a set of Russ. According to a new report, ABC News published a bombshell story Friday claiming to have obtained a copy of the forensic analysis report recently completed by the Bureau, which was examining all facets of the fatal accident in a broader investigation to see if criminal charges are warranted. Per ABC, citing part of the FBI report, the feds found that the revolver in question, a single action 45 Colt caliber uh, F. Dot Lee Piata, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, could not have been fired without someone pulling the trigger, a determination they made after conducting accidental discharge testing. Unclear if they did the testing with the same exact gun Alec Baldwin used or a separate but identical one, but what the FBI notes in their reports is that gun, when working properly, will not release a bullet and primer simultaneously by just fiddling with the hammer alone. Of course, that's what Alec Baldwin said. At the time, he said in a sit-down interview with ABC, he claimed all he had done was pull the hammer back and pose it for the camera while Halnia coached him on positioning. When they were done, he released a hammer and set it fired without him pulling the trigger. All right? According to FBI officials, that doesn't make sense. Their report per ABC notes they set the hammer at varying, varying angles and positions to see if they could make it fire without pulling the trigger, but they said they couldn't. The only thing the hammer could do when decocked and then directly struck on his own without pulling the trigger was detonate the primer. That essentially means it could set off the actual gunshot sound itself without discharging a bullet, according to the FBI. But that's obviously not uh, what happened in the Baldwin's case. It says, now this conclusion doesn't necessarily mean Alec is in hot water quite again. Uh... We don't know if the testing they did here was for his gun or another. It's totally possible the revolver he used that day, in fact, malfunctioned and that he's telling the truth. So basically what this seems to me, um, two things. Either Alec Baldwin is liable or what I think is going to happen because we know how things are in this country and those in power uh, those with pull don't tend to have the same penalties as those who are not. What I think is going to happen is uh, it's going to be blamed on the production, uh, the, the the people who are who are responsible for making sure that the weapons are safe, the weapons are secure. There's no malfunctions. Uh, the people who or the person or persons who were in charge of that are going to be the fall people. They're going to be the patsies, and it may directly be them. It may be their fault in this situation. Um, if that was the exact same gun, Alec, Alec Baldwin is in a little bit deeper trouble because then that would have proved that he pulled the trigger. 
if it's a replica of the same exact gun, then it kind of lends to the belief that it was perhaps more of the fault of those who were supposed to make sure that weapon was functioning correctly, da 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 da. Um, my best guess is that <clears throat> it's going to be a civil suit more than likely either Alec Baldwin and or um, the production company behind the film will be sued in a civil court and they're going to be some type of a, a award as far as a um, you know, some type of settlement. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think there's going to be any criminal charges filed. I just don't see it. Uh, because there was no intent. This was accidental, more than likely. I mean, obviously. Um, it's a tragic situation. It should never fucking happen. Uh, but I don't think this, 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 this is going to go anywhere criminally. I don't think so. But tell me what you guys think.